my friends welcome back to another weekly vlog today is monday it's about 1 45 in the afternoon and i have had a productive work day so far i started off by sharing a red dress boutique try on haul which is one of my favorite boutiques that happens to be based in georgia so love them i found some really cute pieces their stuff does sell out very quickly though so i wasn't going to include it in this vlog but if you are curious, they're all linked in my LTK and the fall folder. I'll link that down below. You can only view the folders on mobile app, which definitely makes it a lot easier because I post in there every single day. But I found some really great dresses, like transitional pieces, some fall family photos, and a good white button down. So check it out if you're on the hunt for those. I am actually filming on a new camera, so hopefully it's okay. I've actually used this camera, it was actually the first camera that I ever used here on my channel, but mine started to get this weird grinding noise that would drive me crazy. And most of y'all didn't either notice or say anything, a couple of you did, but it drove me crazy when I would edit. So I bought a new one and it doesn't seem to be making that noise. So fingers crossed that it doesn't, but I'm using a G7X if you are curious. Um, I got it for vlogging some of our upcoming trips, which is coming up very quickly. I did not realize we're leaving for Jackson Hole, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And I feel like it somehow snuck up on me, even though we booked this trip months ago. But I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to figure out like how to pack for Josie, how to like travel with her on the plane, which there's only so much preparing you can do for that, you know, you just don't know what cards are going to be served that day with a baby. But I just mean, I don't know, you know, even how many things I can take on and the strollers and all of that. So if you have any travel tips, please share them in the comments with me to make me feel a little more prepared. Um, so yeah, I need to do a little more research on that. She does have her own seat for the flight. My credit card, one of the main perks is that you get a companion pass. You get one a year, so Tim and I both have one. So it was nice to be able to get her a seat free of charge because I think that will make our lives so much easier. However, she does not sleep on the go whatsoever and our flight is taking off at her bedtime. That was the only direct flight available, so we'll see how it goes um i'm honestly not too worried about her being crazy on the plane but you just never know so here's a sneak peek of the outfits that i just posted on my instagram which is strawberry chic xo i thought this dress was really pretty for fall family photos i might take it with us to jackson hole and then i can have tim wear like this dark green and josie could wear this rose color i think that'd be really nice um, last week I did reorganize this closet, which was very nice. Um, I have a lot of purses down here. Um, lots of little containers. I think I shared this in last week's vlog. I don't remember. And then these are some things that I just got in that I needed to share. So now that I filmed that haul, I have a couple other things that I would like to film today. Um, one being a size comparison for these codigans just so y'all can see how the different sizes fit because it really depends on the look that you're going for as to what size I would recommend. So I'm gonna film that now. I will throw this into the vlog though because I feel like that would be helpful if you are looking at these. These have been a bestseller the past two weeks. These are really great fall staple pieces. I actually shared them in my fall wardrobe essentials. So if you didn't see that video, definitely check it out if you're prepping your wardrobe for fall. I will link it down below. All right, here's the first size. This is a size small, which is my normal size, and it has a very oversized fit, which is how it's kind of intended to be. It's sort of supposed to be like a casual, I mean, it's a coat again, so you could wear thicker sweaters underneath, that type of thing. It does have a looser fit through the sleeve and overall through the body as well. So if you're wanting it to be a more casual piece, then I would say get your normal size. Um, you can kind of roll the sleeves up, not roll them, but like scrunch them up just to give that casual feel. So yeah, this is my normal size small and how it fits. All right, here is the size extra small. So just sizing down one size. I feel like this gives a little bit better look overall on my body type, but it still has a little bit more of a casual look and feel. So it still has a little bit more looseness through the sides and through the arms as well. 
so I could still easily layer sweaters underneath this one. Um, so overall, I would say my overall recommendation would be at least to size down one size unless you really want that oversized fit because this is kind of how I would think the small should have fit. And then here is how the extra extra small fits. So this is sizing down two sizes from my normal. And personally, this is the size that I intend to stick to. Y'all let me know which one you think looked best on me. But personally, I know that I don't really intend to wear this as a true coat. I have a camel coat, so if I was wearing a sweater and wanted to be warm, I would probably reach for that. I intend to style this as more of a cardigan. So I do like the closer fit through the sleeves. So I'm not worried about layering thicker things underneath as long as I can get a long sleeve like this underneath. So I like how this is a little bit more tailored on the side. It's just a little less overwhelming. It still looks cute and casual. It's just not as casual and baggy as the other two sizes. So personally, I like how the extra, extra small fits. So if you want something closer in the arms, definitely size down too. Today is currently Tuesday and we are having an interesting day because <laughs> Josie decided to skip her one and only nap so far, which hasn't happened since we transitioned her to one nap. So I'm not quite sure what the game plan is today, <laughs> but wanted to go ahead and quickly share an outfit of the day. I absolutely love this dress. It's perfect for like work from home or if you just want to be comfortable. Um, I'm going to be living in this thing, honestly. All right. My dress is from Petal and Pep. I'm wearing a size six and I do have a code for them. I'll put down in the description box. I do want to mention I had to wear a strapless bra with this because all my regular bras were showing, but the one I'm wearing today is really comfortable <laughs> and there's no wire. So it's a really good option. If you're looking for something comfortable, I would say the strap band runs a little bit bigger. I wish I had size down in the band just because mine is on the very last strap. And then my necklace says Josie, it's personalized. I have a code off, I think it's like 25% off with Amanda25. Have a bunch of their pieces, they're stunning. And the price point is great for what you get. I love the packaging. You can personalize a lot of things. My earrings are from Lisi Lurch. They're like a double pearl. And then my hair is very dirty today because our hot water heater is currently not working. This is actually the second time that this has happened and we've replaced it like last year. So that's fun times. So I have lots of dry shampoo in my hair. And then I threw in this little Dior scarf. I will also link some more affordable options for y'all. Um, but yeah, that's my little outfit of the day. Josie's outfit of the day. You wanna come show them your outfit? Come here. Her outfit of the day is from TJ Maxx. You a Maxinista? There's a better look at the necklace, by the way. This one, you can like pick the necklace that you want and of course the personalization. So I got the one that has these little delicate beads on it just to add some different texture. You can layer with them. And yeah, I guess we're gonna go hang out because I don't know what to do with this skip nap situation. I am currently filming some TikToks and stories to post and I thought I would share an update on the Abercrombie jeans with y'all. I posted a dedicated review video here on my channel trying on so many pairs of Abercrombie jeans because I personally haven't figured out their fit for me. So after trying out all of those jeans, which I'll link that video down below if you're curious how it worked out, I definitely determined that high rise, the ultra high rise jeans at Abercrombie were not working for my body type because they were in my rib cage. I have a very short torso. I'm pretty much all legs and I'm 5'5". Five five. So this time I ordered the 90 straight low rise and these sit perfectly on the waist. Honestly, this is an ideal spot for them to hit. It's right at my belly button. I would say the buttons below my belly button. These do have a roomier fit overall than what I'm personally looking for. I do still prefer the other jean that's kind of similar to this. I don't know. I mean, these fit really good through here, but they are looser through the thigh and the leg. They're also a little bit longer on me as well. So because I'm all leg, I was am more comfortable with a jean that's above the ankle just to balance out my proportions a little bit because this definitely emphasizes that I'm all leg. But I would say overall these are 
much better than the jeans I've tried before. This is the Curve Love and I size down to them in a 27. I'm definitely more of a true 28 at Abercrombie. But in the Curve Love, I size down and I have a much better fit. They do feel like they're a little bit short in the crotch area though. I feel like I kind of have to pull them down, which is not ideal. Who's that? <laughs> she loves the camera. You, and she has mac and cheese all in her hair. You don't have to wash your hair, honey. Yeah. Yeah, your hair. Good job. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I just realized I have my retainer and I'm going to pop those out so I don't sound like I have a lisp. Okay, that's better. I am wearing my retainers during the day, which normally I do not do that. Um, I, at this point, I should only have to wear them at night a couple times a week, but I'm still noticing that my teeth shift very quickly. And I'm not sure if that's because I normally put them in like before I go to bed, which is probably later than it's supposed to. So I'm really not wearing them, you know, a, a long point during the night. So I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it, but my teeth have shifted a little bit. So I went ahead and started wearing my retainer, you know, 24 seven or as much as possible, pretty much like I did for my Invisalign. And I'm going to continue doing that until my teeth aren't sensitive when I put them in because they were definitely tender, <laughs> like putting that retainer in for the first time in a couple, maybe even like a week. Yeah, probably was just a week. My teeth moved so much and they were so tender the last two days, like eating. I was like, this is more painful than my entire Visalign treatment because <laughs> um, that one was much more gradual, but my teeth are looking completely straight again. So just need to wear them a couple days and hopefully go back to just wearing them at night again. A random Invisalign update. It is 11 o'clock today. I'm trying to figure out where I need to like put my attention today. Tim's mom is over here to help us with Josie this morning and now she's down for a nap. So I'm trying to decide what work I want to get done. I do have a couple errands, but I probably won't run those today maybe tomorrow. I'm wearing this top again. I wore this in last week's vlog. It's from my friend's boutique shop, Pretty Neutral, and I just love it. Yeah, I guess I can go ahead and share with y'all. And then I'm wearing these Madewell jeans, which just fit like a glove and they're more of like a slim straight. So I feel like they're a very classic jean. Definitely love them. They have, I think they're 90% cotton, 1% elastic. So they're a little bit stretchier than a lot of the straight leg jeans that I tried, but they don't stretch out too much. I did size down to a 27 in these, however. So I will link my outfit details down below. I did unbox a couple things from Amazon and Steam though, so I thought I would share a quick little fashion haul. It's been a while since I've done an Amazon fashion haul, so I need to maybe do a dedicated video, but let me go grab those. So I got just really simple basics. Honestly, I just realized I got like the same top in two different shirts. So for these basics, I just got two of these ribbed tanks. I really like this neckline on me and they're just like a thicker kind of everyday basic, very like stretchy, but still fitted. So I got the white and the ivory or kind of like an off white. I picked those up in a small so that they are nice and fitted. And then I picked up two of these camisoles, which I thought looked really nice. I feel like you could definitely dress these up or down for work or date night, depending on how you style them. So this is the white. I'm not sure which color this is, but it's a really pretty kind of platinum color. And I picked those up in a medium, just because I feel like those fit a little better with a little bit of a looser fit. And I am definitely still very much in between a small and medium. And on that note too, I have really been trying to figure out where I want my personal style to go from here. I shared this on TikTok talking about like, I felt like I was having a millennial style crisis and it resonated with a lot of y'all, especially those of you who are new moms in the past couple of years, or even just, you know, moms, I feel like do struggle a little bit with their fashion identity and their, their new identity as a mom. And I have definitely been feeling that really I've felt lost with my style a little bit the past two years, like with COVID starting, I'm sure everyone had such a sudden lifestyle shift and 
I mean, that just was like a sudden shift for everyone in so many different ways. And then becoming pregnant and becoming a new mom, I'm sure that has a lot to do with it as well. But I also feel like my style is growing up a little bit more and I just wanna be more intentional with my purchases and really curating a wardrobe that I love. So I'm bringing back that series here on my channel. I've been really trying to be intentional with figuring out where I want my style to go. So hopefully I can share that process with y'all as well. Um, and a part of that too has been getting back into the routine of getting dressed every single day, even if I'm just at home, just feeling more put together and being intentional with getting ready. And I think it has a big impact on my mood and productivity. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't know if that resonates with any of y'all as well. I feel like, especially like I'm, I'm 33. So a lot of millennials at this point are growing up on social media and I feel like right now we're the butt of a lot of jokes with our style <laughs> and things like that and it's become outdated in so many ways so I'm also kind of doing some writing up some content for centered around that topic as well but I don't want to add to like the bashing of it so I'm trying to be think through how I want to do that so yeah that's just a little bit of what's been on my mind lately with my style I have I gone in and started like being intentional with my color palette and looking on Pinterest for style inspiration and I guess too a part of me felt weird to feel like I was in a style rut because this is my full-time job and I love to help y'all with your personal styles and building a wardrobe so I almost felt additionally lost in that because that was like that's like a big part of my identity is being a style influencer and I was just feeling very confused <laughs> by a lot of things so yeah it's almost like there's a sense of pressure with my outfits and I'm sure there's not it's just me feeling like that which I need to let that go in this type of industry re-wearing things isn't as common and I just kind of feel exhausted by that so I I don't know, I just wanna see where my style's gonna go from here. We'll see. I got to the hair salon at 9 a.m. Getting new extensions is definitely a long process, um, but we went a little bit longer because I didn't want to be restricted to the short weft, like with the new hair. Um, I do miss the short hair, like I was really loving it, so I'll probably go back to that at some point, um, but just with like the new hair, because what happens as short as you cut it that's as long as you can go so like next time my hair would grow with it and they have to move the row up they would have had to cut my natural hair to match and I was only having one row so we put in two rows again so we have lots of volume um, they always do a little bit of a beachier look and I typically like the bouncy pageant curls so I think it will show up when I curl it a little bit shorter but yeah I hope y'all enjoy coming along to the hair salon with me um I have no idea like what they do but essentially the NBR it's like a bead and then they sew it in as well and I find that it's really comfortable I had just a beaded row a couple years ago and it was so painful when they would tighten it because it was essentially just that bead holding it on um, and I think these are much better for your hair but definitely a long process so now I'm gonna go over to Avalon and look for Tim a shirt for our family photos. I'm really not looking forward to it because it's Friday and I'm gonna be in really bad traffic, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I guess I will probably shop around a little bit while I'm there. We'll see what we find. I really didn't even buy anything for our trip for me. So I'm kind of stressing a little bit about like my outfits for like fall content. So maybe I'll find some cute things while I'm there.
Avalon was a success. I was in and out very quickly. Had some luck in Banana Republic for an outfit for him. So hopefully it fits. I bought him two sizes in the top because they didn't have slim fit. So keeping my fingers crossed there and then popped into a couple stores. I found some really cool yoga pants actually at Airy. They're kind of a ribbed texture and I thought they'd be really pretty for wearing around the house and they are definitely more put together than a typical yoga pant and they had a bunch of colors so I got a really pretty beige color and then I popped into a couple different stores but now it's starting to rain so perfect timing there I did not get wet. I actually got to meet two of you today which was a very fun surprise. One of you were, was at the hair salon sitting next to me which is funny and then I met one of you in a store which was really fun and both of y'all are adorable. Um, so yeah now I'm gonna head home hopefully get home just in time to spend a little bit of time with Josie before she goes to bed. It's been a very long day. Hello, happy Saturday. It has been a busy morning. I feel out of breath because I've just been running around, but we're leaving today. So I'm doing all of the packing for Josie and I. I feel like things are all over the place right now, but it's all good. Normally before trips, I start laying everything out during that week just because it makes me feel better about things being in a safe place and not forgetting them, but Josie's running around now, so that would have been the least helpful because she would have been moving everything around and I would have easily lost things. So doing things a little bit different now, but I do wanna share a couple things that I just got in, not necessarily for this trip, but I'm probably gonna pack them along with me. So I'm not bringing these pants, but they are really pretty. I got these on sale during Labor Day weekend and I've been looking for a cream legging that's flattering. <laughs> so this is more, it's like a thicker pant. So they are very flattering. They are extremely high-waisted on me. These honestly go up to my bra, but no one's going to see that type of thing. Or I may see if alterations can move that around just a little bit. But they're really nice. If you're looking for a light colored legging, it's nice to mix it up from the standard black. And then here are some things I'm probably wanting to take. This little pullover is so cute with the ruffles and it's just a very lightweight, good layering piece. And then yesterday at Avalon, I saw these socks and I thought this little outfit combination would be really cute. I got these brown leggings from Lululemon and then this kind of ties in perfectly. They're really comfortable, would be great for the plane too. And then. These are those ribbed yoga pants that I also got at Aerie. They're just really comfortable. They fit really well. I got a medium in these. So I'm not quite sure if all of this is going to go with me. I think the sweater dress is that I got from Amazon. I'm loving it. And it's not super thick, but it will be a good layering piece. And then I'm starting to pull things from my closet to put up here just for like outfits or things I don't want to forget. I think this is what I'm going to wear for family photos. And then here's just a random pile right now. I'm charging up my iPad and then I'll put all my chargers in here. A couple things for Josie. I need to figure out like some pouches, but these are like high chair covers. This is her carrier that we're going to take. I already put some of her toys in here, but I'm not loving how hidden things are. So I may switch her bag to something different, but these are just some random toys that I got for the trip, and these are all new, so she hasn't played with them before. There's a couple of these spinners that can go on the window. I got her a calculator because I thought she would like that. Some alcohol wipes. This is my makeup, so as I'm getting ready for the day, I pack away my makeup, so that's all in here. This is my, um, this came with like my Neverfull, but I use it for my Kindle, actually. It fits perfectly in here and a quick little tip i put a pop socket on my kindle which is really nice so i typically hold it with my right hand like this so it just makes it easier to hold definitely packing along my belt bag so i'm just starting to throw things here that i don't want to forget and then i'll kind of organize it this would be a potentially cute travel outfit it's a really light creamy pink color the pants flare out they're just really comfy sweatpants they are a little bit warm so I definitely would want to layer something underneath in case I want to take this off but I know it's going to be much colder once we land in Jackson because for one we're landing like I think the sun will be down and it, I know we get off the plane 
like outside. So I want to make sure we're all warm enough. But I think I'm wearing mediums in both the top and the bottom. And then this has a tie so you can tie it and kind of let it just hang. Looks like it it's tucked in. I'm trying a couple things on that I got in kind of last minute. I love this pullover. Love that it cinches in at the waist. The coloring is really pretty. I also love this collar situation as well. It's a thick enough material where it just looks nice and structured. So I'm definitely going to pack this along with me because it will be really cute for walks and hiking. It is long enough for leggings. I think I got a medium in this. It fits perfect. And then I'm not sure if I'll bring the light blue leggings just because they're not the vibe. We're going for like a fall vibe. But I thought it was a really pretty color. And honestly, I didn't have high expectations because the light leggings... 90% of the time do not work because they just show every little lump and bump, but these are actually really flattering. I even have like granny panties on and you can't even tell, which is shocking. And I think because there's a pocket here, it's a little bit of a thicker material right through there where you can show little nipples. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised by these. They are a little bit big on me in the waist, so they're not really cinching in like I like most of my leggings to do. But I think I still prefer this fit just because I don't want it to be too skin tight. So yeah, both of these are mediums. I will link them down below. I just got in an order from Ann Other Stories. And this was an outfit that I put together for my September lookbook. So here is how I brought it to life. Sadly, the skirt is too small. I mean, I'm like squeezed into it, but it wouldn't be comfortable to sit in. And definitely for the price point. I need the next size up and sadly it is sold out but it has such a cute little scallop it's very subtle scallop detail and it's a really nice cute little heart sweater is a great transitional piece and it's thicker it does have a wool percentage but it's not itchy whatsoever I did get a sweater dress that unfortunately is way too itchy I don't even want to try it on but yeah this is so cute I wish the skirt would fit so badly because I would definitely pack this along with me all right, time for a quick check-in. We have about an hour and a half max until we need to head out. And I still have some work to do on my outfit planning, but I have plenty of time. Here's my office at the moment. So here's her carrier. Why is it blurry? Okay, um, this is her little carry-on bag. And then here are just some things I still need to put together. Started some outfits here have my travel steamer. I need to figure out the coat situation. I normally try to save space and wear the coat. I just don't feel like doing that. So we'll see if I can fit it in my bag. So a couple of vlogs ago, I mentioned that I was trying to figure out a storage solution for my office in here and I found the perfect thing. So I wanted to mention it in case you are also on the hunt for something and you're not wanting to do an Ikea pack system. So I am going to order, it's actually from California Closets, but it's from the Martha Stewart Everyday System, and you can completely customize it. It's very similar, I would say, to the Ikea packs as far as pricing. It's a little bit more, but it's really not like too much more. I, when I was first starting out designing it, it was a little more affordable. And then as I like tweaked it, because I definitely spent time trying out different layouts to see what I thought would work best. It ended up being maybe like a thousand dollars more than the Ikea packs would have been. But right now they're doing a 20% off promotion and free shipping. So I am holding off on ordering it because we're going to be out of town. So I'm trying to wait until the last minute, but I'll be putting that together hopefully in a future vlog. And it's so pretty because you can do like a white and gold. And I am going to do this whole back side of the wall. And I'm hoping it's like exactly what I need. I'm going to also do like a file cabinet for, you know, tax documents and all that not so fun stuff. So yeah, just wanted to give you an update on that in case you were looking for a good closet system for your house. You can also do like office space, pantry even. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to end up doing. So I do need to order that before we leave because I don't want to miss out on the coupon. So once I have almost everything kind of set aside, then I like to throw it into the suitcase. And typically I put items in my carry-on that I would need for that evening and the next morning, just in case my 
luggage gets lost or delayed for whatever reason so I was kind of moving some things around and putting larger liquids in my checked bag but I wanted to carry on my makeup and my toiletries just in case because on our honeymoon it was the first time I ever checked a bag and our luggage got lost for three days so I had to go out and buy like makeup sunscreen so many things I was just not prepared so now I'm much more prepared and always put you know the first day essentials in my carry-on bag all right we have probably 45 minutes left so I am gonna end the vlog here finish up packing and get out the door but I will see you on Thursday with a new fashion video and I'm excited to bring you along for Jackson Hole and next week's weekly vlogs so I will see you then bye